Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. <coughs> This is Africa, and here is Burkina Faso. Now let's have a quick look around, shall we? Inhabited long, long ago, the earliest known peoples to make the land their home were the Bobo, Lobi, and Gorunzi, who still live here as minorities. For Burkina Faso is a nation of minorities. The most numerous ethnic group is the Mossi, who arrived on horseback around the 15th century, and whose kingdoms dominated the land for centuries, the most powerful of which was Ouagadougou, which has since become the country's capital. The Mossi are known for their incredibly tall masks, which they done in ancestor reverencing rituals, and in the past the Mossi fended off incursions by the larger Songhai Empire. But they could not fend off the French, who by the early 1900s had already taken all of this, so there wasn't really any stopping them. The land became France's upper Volta colony in 1919. French was taught in schools, and infrastructure was modernized. Here we see the strange sight of traditional African huts arranged in a city grid pattern, but anti-colonial sentiment surged post-Second World War, and the country, still called Upper Volta, became independent in 1960. The first president became a dictator who was overthrown by a guy who was overthrown by a guy who was overthrown by a guy who was overthrown by this guy who was overthrown by this guy who was in power till 2014 and did not really do any good as Burkina Faso was still among the poorest nations on earth. He resigned and fled after mass protests and in 2015 this guy was elected president breaking a long line of military coups hopefully for good but who can say this country's troubles are far from over. Hunger, economic instability, widespread illiteracy and corruption in a country who whose name ironically means land of incorruptible people. On the bright side, things can only get better for Burkina Faso, and let's hope they do, soon. But as for me, it's bye for now. Bye-bye! <laughs>